Colorado's ballot measures are here. There are 14 ballot measures for the election on November 5th, 7 amendments to our state's constitution, and 7 propositions. Most of which are pretty easy to understand, like Proposition KK, which moves to introduce a 6.5 excise tax on firearms and ammunition for manufacturers. Vote yes and gun manufacturers will have a new tax. Vote no and no tax. Pretty straightforward. However, there are five pretty important ballot measures this year. We, college students, didn't quite understand. And we're pretty sure we aren't alone in this, so. We went from our campus in Fort Collins to the KUNC's headquarters in Greeley to figure out these five ballot measures. Hi, I'm Lucas Brady-Woods, government and politics reporter for KUNC. And I'm Julian Haynes with the front page student newspaper at Front Range Community College. We're here at the KUNC studio to run through one of the ballot measures coming up this November. Like a lot of students, um, I'm pretty confused about a lot of these ballot measures. You're not alone. So thanks um, for explaining these. Um, Same-sex marriage is one I saw pretty confused about it because I thought we already had same-sex marriage in Colorado. Jared Polis, our governor, is gay and married, so what is this about? Yeah, it's a bit weird at first glance, but um, it's really about removing some obsolete language from the state constitution that was added like 20 years ago, basically defining marriage as only between a man and a woman. Um, But a decade ago, the U.S. Supreme Court legalized same-sex marriage nationwide, so that that part of the Constitution became obsolete. So this ballot measure is just going to strike that language if it passes. Okay. Uh, why do we need to get rid of this obsolete language if uh, it's obsolete? <laughs> that's good, no, it's, that's a good question. That's a good question. You know, there's some concerns that the U.S. Supreme Court could reverse that ruling on same-sex marriage. You know, it's gotten a lot more conservative in recent years. It rolled back abortion protections when it, you know, overturned Roe v. Wade. So there's some concern that that could happen with same-sex marriage and removing this language essentially protects the right within the state of Colorado. Okay, so it's about upholding same-sex marriage regardless of what happens at the federal level. Correct. It's essentially saying anyone can marry whoever they want in the state of Colorado regardless of what the rest of the country is doing. Okay, thanks for clearing that one up. I needed help on that one. No problem, anytime. Yep. So, a yes vote on Amendment J would get rid of the language ensuring that gay rights would be upheld. A no vote wouldn't make it illegal to be gay, but would leave the state vulnerable if the Supreme Court decides to overturn its 2015 decision to make same-sex marriage legal. Pretty confusing. The abortion ballot measure is pretty big. This has been a uh, issue for years. Yeah, yeah, especially since the U.S. Supreme Court overturned Roe v. Wade a few years ago, which I think a lot of us know sort of took away federal protections for abortion rights. Um, and since then, Colorado has taken it upon itself to pass a bunch of laws to add protections for abortion rights and abortion access here within the state. Okay, so if there's so many of those protections, why uh, is this ballot measure coming now? Good question. Um, So this ballot measure is called Initiative 89, and it's actually a change to the state constitution. Uh, It it enshrines the right to abortion in the state constitution. Um, So it's another layer of protection because constitutional uh, amendments are harder to reverse than a state law. But there's another element of this that's also important because it would, it would remove this ban that's been in place for 40 years on state money being used for abortion services. And one of the biggest things that means is that Medicaid could then be used to cover abortion services, which uh, increases access for a lot of folks. Yeah, okay. And for a uh, state constitution to be switched, we need more than a majority vote, correct? Correct, that's a good point. Uh, changing the state constitution is a bit of a higher threshold than uh, just a normal ballot measure. So it actually requires 55% of the vote, uh, so a little bit more than a normal majority. That's basically because constitutional amendments are kind of a big deal. Yeah, okay. Thanks for clearing that one up. Yeah, no problem. That's what I'm here for. All right, Amendment 79. 
A yes vote would enshrine the right to abortion in the Colorado Constitution. A no vote would not. But in order for it to pass, it would need 55% of the vote instead of just a simple majority. Yes. So we all know Coloradans love their pets. And that they do. And there's this ballot measure that's supposed to increase access to veterinary care. How will it do that? So it's called Initiative 145. And the intention behind it is to help address this shortage of affordable vet care that's really across Colorado right now. And to do that, it would create this new mid-level position called a veterinary professional associate, um, which would require a master's degree and basically could do almost everything a vet could do, like, you know, whether it's diagnosing, vaccines, a whole slew of other things, as long as they're supervised by a vet. Okay. How do vets feel about this? Well, to be honest, they don't love it. Um, they, they say the new position won't have enough training to do what it's meant to do, um, and it also won't be licensed like other positions are. Uh, they're also worried that the ballot measure is backed by big companies like Petco, and they say that's because it will expand, it will help their corporate vet operations be cheaper and more easily expanded. Okay. This is a good example of uh, why you got to do research on these things. Yes, yes. Uh, looking into who's behind a ballot measure can really shed light on the real intentions of a ballot measure. Yeah. All right. Thank you. No problem. Anytime. All right. Proposition 129. A yes vote would create a new position for veterinarians that wouldn't require a license. A no vote would mean that you still need a license to be a vet. A very interesting one indeed. Yes, so there's a measure on the ballot that would totally change the state's election system right this, this year. And what exactly is it about? Two main things. Um, one, it would change the state's primary elections so that all candidates from all parties run against each other in a single race. So Democrats, Republicans, Libertarians, uh, other parties all running against each other in the same primary. Another thing it would do, it would implement ranked choice voting in general elections across the state. Uh, I, I, excuse me, statewide general elections. And that means that voters would list candidates by preference as opposed to choosing just one. And, and there are some communities that have already adopted this system here in Colorado. Okay, that's a pretty big change. Um, some state lawmakers are against it, right? Yes, uh, so much so actually that they passed a bill at the last second uh, this year during the legislative session, making it really hard to implement ranked choice voting, almost impossible, even if this passes. So that, that would be a big hitch. Wow. This will be interesting to watch. Thanks for clearing it up for me. Anytime. Happy to. Okay. Colorado Proposition 131. A yes vote would introduce ranked choice voting to Colorado's elections. A no vote would mean no change to our elections. This would be a huge change. Very interesting to see what happens. Um, one I saw was about banning hunting for big cats. Yeah, and, and don't worry, you're not alone. These can be extremely confusing, these ballot measures. And, and you're talking about Initiative 91, which would ban hunting of mountain lions, bobcats, and lynx in Colorado. Okay, so like banning trophy hunting? Not just trophy hunting. And, that, and, and it is a little misleading because it does say trophy hunting in the title of the ballot measure, mm -hmm. but it, it actually bans all hunting of big cats and would literally remove the hunting seasons for these animals. Okay, so no killing of these animals anymore. There would be some exceptions, but just for things like farmers and ranchers protecting their livestock or wildlife officials doing wildlife management, that kind of thing. Okay, all right. So a vote for this ballot measure is a vote against hunting. Correct, correct. correct. And, and a, a no vote on this is a vote in support of big cat hunting. It can be pretty confusing. Yeah, yeah, okay. Thank you so much, that, that helped That helped me a lot. Couldn't have said it better myself. And yeah, they can be pretty confusing. And that's why we try to make it as informative as possible for you guys. I hope you guys enjoyed and I hope you learned and we will see you at the polls. Subscribe.